It's time to receive a blessing through song and a ministry of God's Word as we present Good News with Sister Sarah Kelly. Hello and welcome to the Good News Telecast. We're so happy that you've joined us tonight by Channel 16 or um, online. Um, we want to, you to just join us in the worship of the Lord. Uh, the, and just let the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost have their way. And uh, we're going to be singing and, and just join in with us and praying. And we just want you to be blessed by the Holy Word of God. Uh, and I want to thank all of our faithful supporters for helping us to stay on the air for Jesus. And uh, I want to say that um, we love them all and we pray for them uh, every day. And we thank the Lord for each and every one of them. And uh, we want to thank all of those uh, that have called us with prayer requests. We've had a lot of prayer requests. And we've had a lot of uh, uh, several that has called us back and told us the, the ones we were praying for uh, with them over the phone. Um, some God just worked a miracle. that They tell us, you know, how, how the, much better they was. And um, I, the, a little girl that was having uh, seizures, I believe she was five years old. She was in the hospital and having seizures. And um, I believe it's her great-grandmother that called me. And uh, we uh, was talking about it, and I said, well, I said, we're going to pray. Just as quick as we get off the phone, we're going to pray. Me and my husband will pray again for her. And um, one, I guess about three hours later, she called me and told me that that child was the, not having seizures anymore. And it, it was something that, they, I mean, she was in the hospital now, and she, they couldn't didn't know what to do. But we thank God for the healing that he is doing. Praise the Lord. And um, if you have a prayer request and you want to call us and let us know, we'll be happy to pray with you too. And we want to thank all of those who have written to us. Um, we have so many people that are so faithful uh, to send us stamps and just different things and um, help us with the program. We thank every one of you for what you do for us. Um, and all those that pray for us, we thank you for your prayers. Um, and at this time, I want to introduce those that are with us uh, in a, the studio today. Um, we have a, a visitor all the way from Virginia. Uh, his name is uh, Brother Daniel Baldwin. And we're pl just glad to have him in our presence today. And then we have uh, Sister Ashley Stamey, and uh, everybody knows her. She's going to be uh, uh, singing and preaching on this program. And then my husband, Brother Joe Kelly, um, he's here, and we're thanking the Lord that he's able to be here today. And Brother Maurice uh, Kelly, my son, is, is uh, with us, and he'll be singing and preaching. And we just thank the Lord for everyone that's here today. Praise the Lord. Um, at this time, we want to take our prayer requests to the Lord and um, just ask him to answer all the prayer requests that we've had. And you may have prayer requests at home, and we'll, we're uh, trusting God that he will answer your prayers. So let us pray at this time. Dear Master, Lord, as we come to you, Father, we thank you, Lord, for this privilege to come to you and bring our prayer requests and make them known unto you, Lord, for like you said for us to do in the word of God. And, Lord, I pray, God, that you would bless each and every one, Lord, that has a need tonight, Lord. And I pray for you to save the lost. And somehow, Lord, I pray that you can reach the hearts of those that are lost, Lord, and help them to see that they need to call on your name and repent of their sins, Lord, and be saved before it's too late. And I pray, Lord, that you would bless the sick tonight, Lord. I pray that you would touch them, uh, Lord, with your healing virtue. We know of many, Lord, um, and we don't have time to call all the names, Lord, but I know you're able to heal everyone, Lord, that's sick and afflicted. And I pray, God, that you would... Uh, 
bless us all here. Uh, Lord, I pray that you would just touch us and use us for the glory of God, Lord, and help the, the program to be a blessing to those that are looking and listening, Lord. And we get so many good reports that people are watching every Saturday night and they wouldn't uh, miss it. Um, and I pray, God, that you'd bless all of them, Lord. I pray the the programs will always be a blessing. And Lord, that you do for us today, we'll thank you and praise you and give you all the praise for whatever it's doing. For we ask these things in the precious and holy name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, for our first song, Brother Maurice and I are going to sing a song, of The Banner of Love. <laughs> going to sing a song entitled, I Shall Not Be Moved. Praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah, I shall not be moved. Anchored in Jehovah, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I 
She's coming, and she's going to sing a song entitled, Whatever It Takes. There's a voice calling me. going to the pulpit now to bring our message for the day. Praise the Lord. It's good to uh, be back with you again tonight. I hope that 
you've enjoyed the um, songs that we were singing and um, that last song I guess that's become one of my favorite songs and I guess the theme song to, to my heart is whatever it takes Lord to draw closer to you that's what I'm willing to do and I, and I want to always have that right spirit because I want to stay close to the Lord and I hope if you're watching the program tonight I hope that you want to stay close to the Lord and and you want to be close to the Lord because if there's ever been a time that we needed God we need him now but if you would go with me we want to go before the Lord in prayer <clears throat> once again Heavenly Father, as we come before you, Lord, again tonight, God. Lord, we thank you, God, so much for the privilege and the opportunity, God, again, to be on air. Lord, I pray for everyone that's watching this program. Lord, I just pray that you would touch their hearts and open their minds and hearts to receive from you, God. Lord, and help me, God, to deliver the thoughts, dear Lord Jesus. You would have me to deliver to say to them, Lord God. Lord, I pray that if there be one soul, dear Lord, that's lost and undone, I pray that you would save them, Lord, because it's worth everything, God, that one soul. I of a devil's hell. Thank you and praise you and ask this, Lord, in your precious name we pray. Amen. So if you have your Bibles and you want to go with me in Scripture, I'll be speaking from the book of Ephesians chapter 6. I'll be talking to us tonight about the whole armor of God. And I, I want to start in um, verse 10. And thinking about the whole armor of God, we must have the whole armor of God uh, applied to our lives if we are going to make it in this day and time that we're living in. Not many today have that whole armor of God on, and we must. It's a must. But verse 10 says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now, I want to talk about those uh, few verses here for just a moment. That first verse says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. It doesn't say be weak in the Lord. But the scripture says be strong in the Lord. And you and I must be strong in the Lord. And there is no time for us to be weak in the Lord. When we're weak in the Lord, that is when the devil will get us. And trust me, the enemy is raging now like never before. And he's seeking out those of us that he can devour. And if he can get our soul, that's what he's going to do. That's his plan. And that's his purpose. He wants to take you off to a devil's hell to burn and burn and burn forever. But listen, we must not become weak in the Lord. We must be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. The scripture goes on down to say, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. That we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. It's, uh, verse 12 says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Listen today, we are not wrestling flesh and blood, but you and I today, we're wrestling principalities and the powers and the rulers of darkness in this world that we're living in. I've never seen such a time that evil is on every hand you can turn on the radio you can turn on the tv and they're killing after killing after killing and the devil is just raging at people the love has completely gone out of people's heart and it seems like the forces of the enemy is getting stronger and stronger and stronger every day but listen the enemy can't cross the blood of jesus the enemy doesn't have power over the lord the lord has all power over him and it's so important that you and I be strong in the Lord because we need the Lord to wrestle and fight these spiritual wickedness and all these evil forces and things that we face in this walk of, walk of life. And if you don't have the Lord in this day and time that we're living in, you're going to be in trouble. We must have him. We must be prayed up. We must be fasted up. And we must be into the word of God so that we can face the enemy. Listen, friend, we can't face the enemy alone. We got to have the power that comes from on high. We got to have the power that comes from heaven, the Holy Ghost and power in our lives for us to be able to fight the enemy. Because the enemy he is raging <clears throat> and if he can steal your soul he's gonna do that and what's sad today is a lot of people 
can stand in this evil day that we're living in so that we can stand when it's hard, so that we can stand when the enemy's raging. If not, <clears throat> we're going to miss it. Things are about to take place in this world like you and I have uh, never seen before. We better be prepared. We better be where we need to be with the Lord. Too many times people's playing church. They're playing games with the Lord. They don't have the fear of God in their hearts and their life anymore. But listen, if you're playing church and you're playing games with the Lord, you don't need to be doing that. That's a dangerous thing. And you sure don't need to be playing around with the enemy because he has no good for you and he's just going to do nothing but destroy you <clears throat> verse 13 goes on down to say wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand listen we're in such an evil day and we must do all we can to stand and we must be strong and we must be bold and we must hold on to God's unchanging hand in this evil day that we're living in. <clears throat> I've been up and through the night sometimes and, I, and having to fight the enemy and I couldn't do it by myself. I had to have the power from on high from the almighty God to help me to fight and I began to call on people within the church and began to have them to please pray for me and when uh, the, they prayed for me so, and the Lord just came on the scene and he just ministered. See we need the power of the Lord and we need his help help. That scripture goes on down to say, stand therefore having your loins got about with truth. Listen, we must have the truth applied to our hearts and applied to our lives. Not some false doctrine, not some doctrine of the devil. We might or not be reading no other Bible than the King James Version of the Bible. Because let me tell you, those other Bibles ain't nothing but doctrines from a devil's hell. And there's no truth in that. And we would not be able to stand if we're living by some other Bible or we're reading some other Bible. We won't be able to have that truth applied to our hearts. If there's ever been a time that we needed to live truth and we need to live holiness, it's now and be rooted and grounded in this Bible and living it from Genesis all the way to Revelations because this is our roadmap to heaven. And when we get in this Bible and when we study and and when we apply it to our hearts, it'll help us apply the whole armor of God on. It goes on down to say, having on the blessed plate of righteousness, it says righteousness, not wickedness. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Listen, there's some fiery darts coming. There's some fire, even that the enemy will throw at people and use other people. Yo, Sister Sarah, I'm sure, gets plenty of phone calls because people don't like what we preach and people don't like what we teach. And and they don't want to hear, but listen, we got to preach to you what God gives you. We got to tell you the truth because we're going to stand before God one day and your blood is going to be on our hands. And that's why today, as we all stand before you, I'm trying to tell you the importance. If you're watching, you better be rooted and grounded and established in the Lord. And you better have on the whole armor of God. And you better be rooted and grounded and in truth and not some doctrine of the devil not some listen to the enemy because if he can get you he's gonna do that and it goes on down to say verse 17 and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there too with all perseverance and supplication for all saints listen my friend we need to be praying we need to be praying every day now we need to be praying more than we've probably ever prayed in our life and we need to be fasting now more than we've ever probably ever fasted in our life and we need to be getting a hold of God and we need to be doing all that we know to do to stand because we're in an evil day and we're in an evil time if we don't get a hold of God 
God if we don't ring those prayer bells of heaven and we don't get this word applied to our hearts and we don't have on the whole armor of God, we're going to miss it. We need the Lord. Listen, you need to have this whole armor of God applied on more than you need anything else in this world. You need the Lord more than you need anything else, more than money, more than a bank account. You need the Lord more than you need a home to live in. I know we have to have those things, but listen, God is more important than all of those things, and we need him, and we need to be crying out to him, and we need to be getting on our faces before him and getting close to him. I'm sorry, but I don't have much time to finish this message, and I hope that I said a few things that you would take to your heart and you would take heed. Listen, we're in an evil day. We're in perilous times, and some of us might be sleeping. We might be slumbering on the Lord and not have the whole armor of God applied to our hearts, but we better get it right, and we better get the whole armor of God on, not half-hearted. We can't live this thing half-heartedly. We can't hold on to the world with one hand and try to hold on to God with the other hand. That scripture says no man can serve two masters. We can't serve the devil and the enemy and the Lord at the same time. It's either God or it's the devil. You got a choice to make. What choice will you make? Would you go before the Lord and pray with me one more time? Oh, dear God, as we come back before you, God, Lord, I hope that I said something today that would help somebody. God, that they would realize, God, how much, Lord, they need you, God. Lord, and I pray that you would help us to stand, God, and have the whole armor of God applied on our hearts, God. Oh, we got to make it to heaven, Lord Jesus, oh God. Lord, I pray that you would touch all those watching, Lord. If there be one saved, I pray you would save them, God, before it's too late, oh God. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray right now, oh God. Lord, please touch all these needs and all these requests, Lord. God, today we thank you so much and we ask this.